All right, so here we are, almost done. Or I guess I say almost there. So of course, uh, the setup going here, watching a little Andromeda there. I already saw all this stuff in one of the other recent updates. Still got a huge mess to deal with, and uh, work has begun, of course. And we saw those last time with the FET and everything. Uh, the biggest thing now is that the bookshelves have been loaded. Before moving, I took pictures. Hello, Pongo. Welcome. I took pictures of all of the individual bookshelves so that whenever I had those giant stacks of books, which, by the way, are now completely gone from that corner where they were stacked, uh, I could just go through, and rather than having to figure out the chronological order of them, I could just look at my shelf pictures and put the books back exactly as they were before. So it's all chronological, pretty much with the exception of, like, the Clone Wars, where I put series together, because that... Uh, chronological era is so completely jacked up, but then otherwise pretty much chronological. Then you get down into things like anthologies that span multiple time periods or omnibus editions, guidebooks, uh, Shakespeare, or Shakespeare's Star Wars by Ian Disher, and then you got stuff like big books to help weight things down. And of course these two relatively small shelves here, that's canon. It's the new canon there. No, some duplicates there. Two Young The Force Awakens, two Regular The Force Awakens, two Bloodlines, because those are those Barnes & Noble exclusive editions, or uh, whatever you call the Young Reader one, the special edition next to their original. But, you know, it's the top. Totally blank. And over here with the TV, watching a little Andromeda. Totally blank. The next step for me is going to be to take some of these The Force Awakens art prints and uh, maybe some of these Joe Caroni signed prints. I think the Joe Caroni ones might go over here. But I'm going to run some or all of those across the top here on the wall before I put anything on top in front of them. Like uh, my comic pack and Rebel Mission to Ord Mantell on LP, the original Star Wars soundtrack LP, whatever I want to put up there as display items. And then we have ordered more of these to go above the TV, but whereas we have one R2, one BB-8, one Boba where they're standalone, above the TV we're going to put a Vader head, uh, which is one item, and then a second item directly beneath it, which will be the Vader fist with the lightsaber in it coming out of the wall. So you'll look up at the TV and it'll look like Vader's coming through the wall up above it up here. So still in progress but almost done. Uh, it is at least, for now, as you can see, a working office. Now we just need to spice it up a little.